Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI. When we left off, we had our little settler moving up this way to try and claim a city right up here. We were trying to figure out Mohenjo Daro and how to keep it when it looks like uh, Russia's right on the borders and about to declare war. So it looks like we may be forced to start building up a very strong military and fight Russia. At the moment, I'm not sure I'd be entirely opposed to that. Russia is getting a lot of great people and seems to be getting some great works that I wouldn't mind. And we do have the government thing. And in seven turns... I'm curious how long... So 1% for every 20 turns. I would like to wait until that 7 turns is up to switch. Hopefully I remember exactly in 7 turns. Which will be right... Okay. No, Divine Right won't take 8 turns to finish because we've got that temple about to finish that's going to take exactly 4 turns. And that'll be the second one, because we have one here already. We are getting a lot of faith, very rapidly. And just looking at that, I'm looking at Merchant Republic and that 15% discount on gold purchases versus our faith production. And I just have to say, would it be better to go for a theocracy... So we can buy land combat units with faith. Because that might not be a terrible idea. Anyway. Actually, going to Damascus, can I buy an item with faith? I could buy apostles of their religion. And that holy site district. A oh, wrong menu. It's so hard to keep track of where everything is. Uh, the holy site has its pagoda. Does my capital have a pagoda? Um. No, I thought you had a holy site. Or does it have a pagoda? No, it doesn't have a holy site. That's why it doesn't have a pagoda, because it doesn't have a holy site. So I may want to spam all that out once that holy site finishes in two turns. We shall see. I'm giving a close eye on that settler. The Aztecs have founded a religion. It was a little slow there, I guess. Um... I actually think I'm gonna move this guy over to here. Because Mecca desperately needs production. And this will help with that. Warrior. Now I can skip my turn. Alright. Now what? Well, this is definitely not looking good for, uh, Andrew Daro. Alright, let's go choose production over in Cairo, where they have just finished the, uh... Okay, I need the temple building there. And I don't even have the gold for a shrine. Of course not. How much does that pagoda cost in faith? 340? 
And what does it give me? One housing, one citizen slot, and three faith. Do I want an extra? Is the time I'm losing worth the extra citizen slot? I kind of want to say no. I mean, it'd be better to get to the walls and get that built. Also, and to upgrade that cattle. And then go from there. But I don't know. At least that's how it feels. You don't have a commercial up, do you? That's interesting. As I looked it up in commercial hubs, apparently do well when adjacent to harbors. I put a harbor here, I put a commercial hub here, and... Hey. Anyway, the, um... Go back to your walls, and I am going to fail my religion. And now we're going to found a religion. Now I need to choose a religion. Well... Kind of... Kind of like that, uh, symbol. So I'm just going to go with that because, hey, it seems cool. Okay, religion belief. Work ethic, plus 1% production for each follower. One amenity in season two specialty districts. Or shrines and temples each provide plus one housing. This seems valuable because we are kind of running into housing problems everywhere. So it's going to be plus two housing in every city. And plus two housing in every city is just going to be huge. The alternative is work ethic. If we can get a lockdown on our religion. And essentially secure it then we would get in every city production for every follower we have. And if you start looking at say 10%, 20%, 10 seems about uh but I figure 10% production everywhere, and that's not bad. But at the same time, this lets us... Oh, it's hard. It's hard to calculate. Um... I think the housing bonus is going to provide us with a better benefit. At least for now. And while work ethic may be really nice later on, well, We're not getting at neighborhoods until the industrial era. That's what solves housing problems. We're a ways away from that.
In the meantime, we have to deal with housing trouble, because we are looking at that. Resolving that with plus two housing to let us get down more districts and get out of more stuff seems like a good idea. Work ethic definitely goes well in the long run. However, I can't I say I can't, but it's like, well, maybe. Am I going to be able to defend my religion from both sides? And the answer is hopefully. Especially if I go for a theocracy, I should have a little more help there. So, I'm more likely to convert my people which means work ethic. All right. Now, religion beliefs. Okay. Mosques might be good. Plus two faith for every say following this religion in other civilization. No. Pilgrimage is just bad. Tithe is always okay. Overall. World church unlikely. That's a tiny bonus. Do I want the mosque, which gives me plus one spread and plus three faith? Well, do I want plus one missionary spread, plus two food? Two food is really good. Or a slot for religious art. Um... Hmm. I think the cathedral might be good. Or the mosque. You can tell I haven't looked at this, can't you? Scripture may or may not be good. I'm tempted to try it. But it's probably not going to be that good. Missionary zeal would probably be better. Monastic isolation. Now that would be good. Okay, I'm going to go with the good water. Okay. Ah, that just goes all the way back to there. Okay. Yes, let's found this religion. Now I need some apostles. Fine. Well, it so happens... that I can, well, for starters, I can afford apostles. Well, I can buy missionaries. I need temples to buy apostles, right? What do I need to buy apostles? Here we go. I buy apostles here. Oh, you can only have one religious building. Interesting. So the fact that I built the uh, pagoda 
which is, I don't know what that gives me. Probably plus one housing slot, if I remember correctly. Because I built that, now I can't build my new one. I see. However, it does mean I can build an apostle here. And, uh, you've got 10 out of 12. Fine. And I've got this warrior here who is just going to skip his turn again. I don't have a temple down here. I'll be able to get that next turn. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, let's see here. Your progress towards divine right has advanced considerably. Awesome. I get that next turn. And you're giving me what, plus 15. Psst. All right, then. I can launch you an inquisition. I can evangelize a belief. I can promote you. Um, huh. Can spread religion two extra times, or plus 20 religious strength in theological combat. Plus 20 religious strength in theological combat. That is kind of absurd. And then I've got 110. Get another 20. Or I get four spreads of the religion, which... Okay, admittedly, I could use some of that. But I want debater. I want the advantage that can give. Of course, that means I need to uh, come here and uh, buy an apostle here. It's 270, and also I would like to buy the Gadawa, or however you pronounce it. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. Choose production in Hatton. We could build a campus. Uh, is this rainforest? That is rainforest. If we were to buy this tile and put the campus here... It would not have a terrible amount of adjacency bonuses. <sighs> commercial hub goes here. No, harbor here, commercial hub here. Industrial zone here. Don't about I need a theater square. Okay, what gives adjacency bonuses to this? Absolutely nothing. Except other districts, which means the only place I could put it that would give it anything eventually is right here. Or buy this tile. No, I think there's something that I wanted to build, a wonder, that had to be built on flatland, uh, Mont St. Michael. Well, that would be nice. Put it right there in Mecca. Except Mecca has no production capability. <laughs> Gotta fix that. Um, 
I need to get that district. Just hit the spot for its third. I have buy a tile and get a harbor going. Might not be terrible. I do a commercial hub. Again, not terrible. Do a campus. Wait. Let me. I need a moment to remember this. Great Zimbabwe. Must be built adjacent to a commercial hub district with a market and adjacent to cattle. I wanted a building in Hatton. There's the cattle. It means I've got to build it right here. Technically, I don't have to build it right there, but that is probably the best spot right now. Because it also leaves some flatland adjacent to a city center. Must be built on woods adjacent to a holy site district with a temple, and you must have founded a religion. It grants two apostles. And it was plus four faith. Terracotta army, not bad. Hagia Sophia. Must be built on flatland. Adjacent to a holy site district. Um. No, I need to get um ready for Great Zimbabwe, and that means building a commercial hub. All right, which means I need to build the commercial hub right there. Tile cost these. Thank you. Let's buy that. And now let's build a commercial hub. Right there. Do I want to build a commercial hub district here? Yes. He needs orders. Skip your turn again. And with that come to the end of this episode I was just double checking time thank you very much for watching I'm Jim of the Fuzzy and I hope to see you again next time